So, <laughs> I'm going to try another feeding video with my uh, fire eel. I've got uh, the shrimp. These are raw shrimp and today I'm going to try to convince her to come out all the way to the top and eat some food. I'll try to give her some more here. There you go. Oh, she's hungry. I got some more shrimp. Oh, come on. Yeah, here we go. Ah, she's swimming back into her hide. Okay, come on. All right, come on. More food. Come on. <laughs> if I let go of it, I think she'll get it. Come on, Cinderella. Okay, I'm gonna let go of it. And it's dropping down. She sees it. And gobble. She got it. You're shy. Well, at least she came all the way out one time. I'll give you the rest of these shrimp. I don't need to make you come out. There. Ooh, 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 ooh. All the way up. There we go. We'll give you. Oh, she has a hard time backing into her little uh, hiding place. Whoop, there you go. Have another bite. And I'll drop another one in. Come on, there's another raw shrimp. And we'll give you another one. There you go. And double. What else do we got in here? That's all. That's all I have for you today, Cinderella. Well, this concludes... A short feeding video of the great big fire eel in a 50 gallon tank. Remember, if you get one of these fish, you might buy it small, but they grow very large. And it's highly recommended that you never keep them in any tank this small. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the video. Any questions about fire eels? I've got experience keeping them. <laughs> That's quite a amazing, beautiful fish. I like how it pays attention to me and it, how it's large. But that's the two drawbacks. Well, one drawback is how big they are. You just simply have to have a huge aquarium to keep them. And they are predatory fish. They will eat any fish, I believe, that's not armored or prickly that will fit into their mouth. They don't nip at fins though and uh, they're a nice community tank fish if they get enough food. <laughs>